Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like, love showing you my favorites for this month. And not only just like simply just telling you all oh, these are my favorites. This is everything that I use on a daily basis, you know, not just showing you all of these products, but also showing you how I use them to complement my face, to use them on a daily basis. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would want me to do more videos like this for every following month, so just let me know in the comments below or give me a big thumbs up so I know that you guys like these type of videos. I hope you enjoy and if you do, also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure without further ado, let's just get started with this video. So I'm just, instead of just showing you my favorites, I'm going to actually try them on and I got inspired by Beauty Bird Jasmine, Yasmin. so let's just get right into the video. <sighs> So recently, I had purchased this Age Rewind Circle, um, Dark Circle Eraser, and I love this because I don't only use it for my under eyes, but also for my blemishes. And for some reason, they for some reason they've been actually working for me. Like, my go-to foundation is my dewy plus smooth from maybelline the from the fit me collection line i use this bad boy a lot like every single day i guess i could but i love it because for my skin tone it looks like it just airbrushed But I do set my foundation and how I set it with my Mario Badesco. This is my holy grail. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it on all of my videos. But I really, really just love it. Just because I feel like it just hydrates my skin. Hydrates everything. And not only as a setting powder. But I feel like it makes me just glow more. And it's, it's so good. So, but I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Palmade in dark brown I'm pretty sure you guys guessed it by now but it is the Jaclyn Hill palette I love this palette with all of my heart just because like it has so many variety of colors and I'm gonna be using this beautiful mustard yellow eyeshadow I'm actually gonna go in with this wet and wild wet and wild brush go with the orangey look first like this one I think this is called Jax but I'm gonna go ahead and in and use that one first and then we're going with the navy color Color, which one is it? Oh, I'm gonna go in with this one right here just to add a more gradient effect to it with the same tapered brush. Color right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my little. A pretty while ago so now we're just gonna create a wing cover girl actually did not purchase this this came in with my um, beauty con tote bag so I'm just gonna be toping off my mascaras unfortunately I do not have any lashes right now which sucks because it would have brought the whole look together. But my favorite lashes of this month would have to be the Ardell ones. 
any Ardell lashes are my favorite lashes from Maybelline. This has been my go-to highlight for everything, seriously, for everyday use. And I don't know if I mentioned how I use my how, the technique I use for my highlight, but I first added with no type of spray to my cheekbones. A, my brush with my Bio Badesco Rose Water. And then just add that to the highlight like this and just swipe. And it'll give you a more blinding effect of a highlight. You see that? Just do it to everywhere where you would normally highlight. I've been using the Exposed um, from Kylie Jenner and my um, Vivid Hot Liqueur Lippy from Maybelline. So let's just do this little duo together. I'm gonna use the Maya Badesco to set everything in and this has been my holy grail since I bought it honestly. I rave about it like all in all of my videos. So let's just spray this. this 